React Router, a library for managing navigation in React apps. It allows you to create a single page application with multiple views or pages without reloading the browser. It works by matching the URL in the browser to specific components in your app. To start learning how to use React Router in your React app, let's first create a React app using Vite. And then let's go into our terminal and type npm install and then a React Router DOM. This will install React Router in our project. You can go to the package JSON file to ensure that your React Router is updated to the latest version. After that, let's go to our main file to set up our React Router. Here, let's first import the create browser router function from React Router DOM. It is used to define all the routes in your app and how they connect to components. It uses the browser's history API, like the address bar, to manage navigation between pages. For example, inside the array, let's add an object. And inside this object, let's define a key named path. This key will have a string value of slash, meaning that this path will be the index or home page of our app. After defining the path, let's now define the component that it will render. In our case, this will be the app component. This setup enables us to create multiple pages with different route names very easily. For example, the slash dashboard path will render the dashboard component or the slash about path will render the about component. You can practice using React Router by building small web app projects and implementing dynamic routes in them. We covered a lot of topics today, which is why we created a PDF version of this video. It's free, but we'd really appreciate it if you supported the channel. You can find the link in the description below. Also, this is just the first part of our React Router series. There's still so much more to discuss.